Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where I talk everything from wrestling to video games, Funko Pops to movies, pretty much anything pop culture. But today I'm talking comics and I'm looking at issue number six here of the Wonder Twins, The Great Scramble. Now originally this was only going to be a six issue series, but Warner Brothers has extended it, now making it a 12 issue series. So I'm definitely happy about that. And if you guys are fans of the comic, I'm sure you guys are happy about that. So let's get into the discussion of issue six, The Great Scramble. Issue six starts off inside the White House. The countdown clock is down to 30 days until the Great Scramble. The Scrambler has taken over the airwaves and is letting the world know that time is running out. In 30 days, every person on Earth will be scrambled and find themselves inside the body of another. Inside the Hall of Justice, the Wonder Twins are asking the supercomputer how serious the situation is with the Scrambler. The supercomputer lets them know the Scrambler is not bluffing, however his powers will only work on Earth. Superman tells everyone that this is a code red situation and the Scrambler is number one priority. Superman asks the twins what they know about the Scrambler. Jaina tells Superman that they didn't have any contact with him, however maybe questioning some of the incarcerated League of Annoyance members might be a good start. Superman wishes them luck and reminds them that the world hangs in the balance. Jaina tells Ant to activate her power as she has a plan. Superman addresses the United Nations and lets them know that they will do everything in their power to stop the Scrambler. Superman is informed that there are reports that about 1 million people have already been scrambled. Superman, Hawkman, and Wonder Woman now discuss the situation. They believe the Scrambler is being protected by some type of elite military in a top secret facility. We see that the Scrambler is not in some secret fortress, but just chilling on Polly Mass' couch in her living room. While the world is in crisis, the Scrambler and Polly are very nonchalant, with Polly telling the Scrambler she's heading out, and the Scrambler requests if she can pick him up a turkey dog. Now inside the Lexicon prison, we have the Praying Mantis, Druncula, and the Malingerer sitting around the table. The Praying Mantis gets alerted that he has a visitor. At first he's excited, but then he sees it's Xan. Xan is here to plead with the Mantis that they need his help and that the world is in complete chaos. When the Mantis hears that he will be transferred into someone else's body, he takes it as he'll be free of the prison in 30 days. Xan tries to explain that it doesn't necessarily work like that, that he could end up in the body of someone who's on their deathbed. The praying Mantis is willing to take his chances, because if he can't get the deal he wants, he figures he's half insect guy serving 30 years in prison, so he feels he doesn't have much to lose. Visiting time is now up and the praying mantis is being escorted away and he tells Xan he anticipates hearing from him soon. If you look closely, there's a small fly buzzing right behind the praying mantis. Inside the Hall of Justice, Wonder Woman tells Superman that they scan every bunker and hideout and there's no trace of the scrambler. The president is told that it might be time for him to start preparing to live as a normal person, with the president saying this is every world leader's worst nightmares. Now back inside the prison, the malingerer, Druncula, and the praying mantis are gathered discussing what if anything they know about the scrambler. The malingerer says he doesn't know much other than he did see him with a science guy quite a bit. We now know that Jaina is the fly and realizes that Polly might be involved with the scrambler. At Polly Mass House, Polly tells the scrambler she's uploaded his power into the internet consciousness, that he can activate his power with just a simple email. Now there's a knock on the door and it's Jaina wanting to speak with Polly. Polly tries to get her to go away, but Jaina comes right out and says she knows she's working with the scrambler. Polly lets Jaina inside and asks her if she's going to turn her in, but Jaina's undecided. Polly tries to justify her reasoning, but Jaina pleads with her that she's not just taking it out on some corrupt politicians, but that billions of innocent people will be affected. Polly and Jaina continue to argue, and it ends with Jaina telling Polly it's not her job to fix the world. Now Jaina arrives back at the Hall of Justice contemplating what she might do. Batman says they can't let strangers get scrambled into superhero bodies because who knows what they would do with their powers. Superman tells the twins that they should get on a ship to get off of Earth so that they'll be safe. Xan tells Superman that this is their planet and their fight and him and his sister are there for them. At the White House, we see that the world leaders have decided to start working together. On the TV, we are alerted that the clock is down to 24 hours to the Great Scramble and that 300 new laws are going to go into effect the day of the Great Scramble. And we have a shot here what of course most people might be doing if they thought the end was coming, they're out partying. 
We now get a promotional video from Lex Luthor advertising his new social networking called Lexima, which will allow family members to reconnect with their loved ones right after the Great Scramble. Immediately in the next shot, Lex has his space gear and ready to exit Earth. The Wonder Twins, fearing the worst that they may be scrambled, let Gleek go so they know no one can torture him again. As you can see, Gleek is not very happy about this. The twins have a conversation that the Scrambler's evil actions have actually made the world leaders come together and work for a common cause. Jaina has a reaction to this and asks Zan to activate her powers. Jaina transforms into a bird and flies to Polly's house, but it's too late as Superman and Green Lantern have found the hideout of the Scrambler. It is announced that the Scrambler has been caught and the world leaders rejoice that they don't have to go through with any of their new 300 laws or promises. Zan is being interviewed by the media about how he actually did it. He said he demolecularized himself so that he could search every house and apartment in the city one molecule at a time. We see that Polymath is taken away by the authorities and Jaina is very upset about this. Of course, Polly blames Jaina for turning her in, which she did not. At the Hall of Justice, Zan has earned himself as an employee of the month. Now that the Great Scramble has been forwarded, we see Zan back with Gleek. Zan is finally coming into his own that he belongs here on Earth. On the last page of this comic, we got the Scrambler in prison with a device around his neck, not allowing him to use his powers. A guard comes to the Scrambler and tells him he has the ability to make one phone call. However, the Scrambler asks if he can send an email instead. All right, guys. Well, issue six wrapped up nicely and the Scrambler has been caught. And I think they could have probably ended it here, but I think they have a few more ideas for the Scrambler to cause a little bit more chaos. Now, guys, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment because when issue seven comes out in September, I believe it's September 11th, that the next issue will be coming out. I will be covering that as well as all the way to the end through issue 12 because I'm enjoying the Wonder Twins. I've been a fan of theirs since the cartoon and I'm a fan of theirs here in this comic. So I will be doing more comic discussions here in the future. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.